Yes, was he a good or a bad man? We don't know, we don't care. He is one with the past. Good. Alright. Huh, here again? Weren't we just at the dock, though? Wait, that bell. Did you hear the bell just now, John? It's like before, back at the station. What in the world could be going on? Look, it's Floyd over there. He should have the emotion chip. <clears throat> yep, no flowers for the old man. Yep. Is this what the emotions humans are always talking about feel like? Excuse me, Mr. Floyd. Floyd, what a nice name. But the man who gave me that name will never say it again. I'm sorry. What is it you folks need? That emotion chip. Uh, not that guy again. I thought he was a good guy, I did. When his assistant asked me to help deliver the, f uh, the flowers, but I... I was wrong. Just take it, will ya? This thing ain't giving me nothing but trouble. I was trying still. I'd rather just feel nothing from now on. With Solomon gone, I gotta find a new job. You guys don't know anything, do you? Your, uh... Your face. It's leaking. My face? How strange. And here I shouldn't be able to feel anything anymore. But somehow the tears won't stop. There... There must be something wrong with me. Great, we just broke this guy! Oh no! Uh, yeah, dude. Hi. Well, um, I should have never borrowed that emotion chip. Yep. <sighs> hey, look, if we ever go back further in time, maybe we can stop you from doing that. Yeah? We can just tell him, dude, don't, don't borrow it, because you're going to get into all sorts of trouble. We could use it now, so... They didn't have their exchange this time, where he tells him to keep the door shut tight and the other guy does a yuck 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 thing. Alright. Yes, we're going to see the client. Good old CPAC. Yep. We're here to deliver letters. We need to find Isabel. Yes, we know the captain, and you're gonna grill us hard and make us work for our money. Oh no. Elena at the Esther Hotel, Agu, um, engineer at Mama Jazz, the Red Rocket. Well, what's interesting to me is the guy's like, this one's gonna be more difficult. This has gotta to go to the repair shop. There's no difficulty about it. So it's almost like he knows there's a problem. I've just realized that. Hmm. About this one for Guy. Yeah, yeah, I know, Guy's hell to deal with. It's our duty to deliver every single piece of mail, letter to hand, so... What are you, uh, so do what you gotta. No, it's just the chip that he ordered, there's something wrong with it. We have the actual chip he needs. Huh? So someone actually gives a damn about that old bear. If that's the case, then give him the right one, I suppose. I just don't want to hear any complaints, you got it? Hmm. So that must be why it was difficult, just because the guy is a difficult person. When you're stuck in a time loop, always look for things that are different. You know what? I'm not even going to do the hotel first. I'm going to go do this first and see what happens. 
spread. So these guys are still unsure. Like they're, they're still stuck in the same time loop and they don't remember anything. Okay. Just want to double check. Or triple check in this case. Double check again. Is it a double double check or a triple check? But that would be a quadruple check. No. I'm doing math. I should stop. Um. Hi. We got the emotion chip. Wait, what? Emotion chip? Seriously? Yeah, Floyd gave it to us. Then you went to the island of time? Dang, you guys are really going all out. Those two must be pretty good friends of yours. Alright, come on then. Let's get the operation started. You guys too. Seems like you've got a pretty vested interest in this. Oh, we get to go in as well. Nice. Boss. Thought I told you not to let anyone in here. But they have the emotion chip. Emotion chip? Here. This. This is definitely it. I have absolutely no idea how you could have gotten this. But I suppose now is not the time for questions, is it? Smith, let's do it. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Oh god, they're turning him into Captain America. <gasps> He's gonna be swole when he comes out of there. Energy core level's rising. Don't you worry, we got everything under control. Just watch out for the Hydra agent with the bomb up in the observation room. We've got interferences on all frequencies. Oh, sorry, I should have said spoiler. Damn. You think I'm blind or what? Daniel, are you okay in there? Like, oh, I can do this! I'm fine. Somehow it almost feels familiar, I guess. William? William, are you there? I'm right here. William, when the operation is over, can we go back to Pot Rock Isle? Pot Rock Isle? Wait a minute. You are that, William. You certainly know how to choose the best of time for things. Quiet! Almost got you, little fella. Don't you even think about going nowhere. Our energy levels continue to rise. 200%, 480, 1890. I can't get it under control. These, these energy levels, it's impossible. The container's not going to take it much more. Stop, stop the operation. Cut the circuits now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <gasps> Is William gonna die this time? Daniel, are you alright? What's happening? What's going on? Hurry, the system's overloading. Daniel! Did we kill him? <laughs> this is why you don't interfere with the flow of time, people. Daniel? Daniel, are you okay? I... don't feel any d different. Then the operation... A simple miscalculation is all. Sorry, folks, I just never would have expected this little guy would have had so much energy inside him. That there's no way to f fix me? Hey, don't go underestimating me that quick. We're just gonna need to find us a little, a more suitable container is all. Then you'll be an ordinary kid in no time. Really? Yes, just like Pinocchio. Really. Well, this has been quite the tiring day. Why don't we head back to the Iron Carbine for now to rest? And thank you, both of you. If it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't have even gotten this far. Come, Daniel, let's go. Uh, okay. And do let us know if there are any new developments. We'll be in the train graveyard. Where we can't go, apparently. Let's deliver the rest of the letters. Hmm. So when we loop... We're going to encounter that problem next. We need a suitable container for his energy. I wonder where we get that. 
All right. All right, delivery. And it's just a card, so, you know, whatever. Uh, don't get your hopes up. New Year card from Mom. Yep. Suitable container for Daniel's energy levels. Maybe when we go around in the loop, we're going to have to tell them about that first and say, wait, wait, wait. This is going to go wrong because there's too much energy going on in there. He's too much robot for your machine. It can't handle him. And as for you, Mr. Agu, is your uh, delivery with no article, so sorry about that. Enjoy life's little disappointments. And let's go shopping again. <laughs> what have you got today, Kane? And by today, I mean yesterday, or the day before yesterday, but it's today now again, so yay. Uh, there's pumpkins. What is this? Clams. Oh, hell yeah. Get some of them pumpkins as well. I got plenty of those. More ribs. I've only got 40 salt anyway now, so... <laughs> We're out of money! But nothing like stocking up on different stuff. Alright, we can't go see them. the operation go? Uh, I mean, it worked, but also didn't. It seems nothing's actually different. Ah, I suppose operations will be like that sometime. But so long as it didn't fail, then you can call it a success. It failed. <laughs> Not moving... F if you go for an operation and you come out the same as you went in, and you're still in the, in the same problem, the operation failed. That's like going out to your car in the morning, intending to drive to work, and ten minutes later you're still sat on your driveway because the car won't start. That's a failure. <laughs> what about the train graveyard? It wouldn't let us in again. Yeah. So, I was wondering if maybe we can go and check in on William and Daniel, but because that's where they're apparently hanging out, but yeah. Another new letter... Yeah, Ivan at the um, Esther Hotel. How did you know that? It is indeed for that kooky old bloke. Deliver this and you'll be done for the day. Just leave it to us. Ooh, time didn't loop. Ivan at the hotel, huh? Where was Ivan? I don't remember. Not her. Oh, right, it was one of the doors here, wasn't it? Who is it? Excuse me, sir, we have a delivery for you. Scram! Probably that imbecilic journal with its pointless drivel again. Pretentious twits, all of them. Don't believe me, huh? Ha! I'll show them. I'll show them all! I'll find Isabel. Isabel? Did you say Isabel? Where is she? Do you know? Do you know that woman? We came to Esther City to find her. Outsiders, huh? Which means she must also be from outside the time field. But what was it she hoped to find coming here? Excuse me, sir, do you know where Isabel actually is? First off, I don't know Isabel, okay, but I do know this. She came here to me. 
If she wasn't after my research, then she must have been trapped by something. Trapped by what? How the hell am I supposed to know? You listen right here. I'm the greatest scientist in Esther City. Well, one of them. But anyway, if I say I don't know something, then I don't know it. But if there is some kind of clue out there, it surely would be... It, then surely Thomas would. Ah, oh, damn it. Here it comes again. He's in... Oh, he remembers the time loop. Huh? What's coming? And go find Thomas. Thomas on the Isle of Time! Alright. Thomas on the Isle of Time, huh? We need to go around and help repair Daniel again? We don't have a way to fix him beyond the current state, so... Who knows? Right, we've got to find Thomas. He's got to know something about Isabel. And probably this time loop. So if Ivan's stuck in this time loop as well, that's unusual. Yeah, we have free reign. We can run around. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. All the way over there. Well. Lava candy found. Oh, other advanced gear part. Okay, I see. That's so we can probably get back by yeeting the bomb over there, right? So it didn't. Hmm. Weird. Why does that go down when we come close? I can see as well that the box we want is here, but... How do we get to it? You don't have the range there. Okay. I'll leave that. Snoot.
I, they dodged. Oh my god, really? Dodge the fire then. <laughs> All right. That leads somewhere different. Okay, that just takes us down this way. Oh, we're getting to one of those rooms where, um... Oh, man, I can't get to it. Ooh! Yeah, well, we're gonna get to one of those rooms where, uh... Murder Girl here can get some power-ups. It looks like we may... Looks like we may end up um, having to do something about the water level. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh. There we go. Got them both in a corner. Nice. I thought that guy just flew away. Cheeky. Bad burb. keep forgetting to use Sam's abilities to freeze people. It just makes things so much easier. I choose to play games hard, uh, even if that means making them hard for myself by doing dumb things. Bad doggy. That's the problem, it's because sometimes games are so easy for me, I have to actually be bad at them. Like, I have to intentionally be bad at them in order to make them challenging. Charge to unleash a an, an large energy bubble. Oh, that's right, we're stuck in a field. Boom! There we go. Yeah, we've encountered this shield before. There's all that up there we haven't been to yet, but I don't think we can get to any of it yet. It's like a helicopter. Oh, cool. The weather here, it's not cold at all. Wasn't it just snowing? Look at the helicopter. This has got to be the right place. Hello? Is Mr. Thomas here? Who is it? White hair, like freshly fallen snow. Mother? My name's Sam, and I'm not anyone's mother. You're not friends with that Solomon guy, are you? No, no. I guess I just... I've been on this island too long. What is it you folks need from me, then? Professor Ivan told us to come find you. He said you might know something about Isabel. You wouldn't mind saying a bit more, would you? It's just it's... It's been a long time since I've heard this voice. This voice? What do you mean? We just came here from New Dam City. We're looking for our friends, Alva and Isabel. Professor Ivan said you might, uh, know something about them? Um, hello? Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. Just hearing you talk is giving me a complete sensory overload right now. Anyway, I can't say I know anything about these friends of yours, but something tells me I... No, we will be able to help you. Wait here a second. All right, then, let's go. I'll wait for you folks at the dock. 
But before I go, uh, let me give you something. Ain't gonna be easy on the way back. What? I got the remote bomb. This island, it's got a few secrets. Might do you good to look for them. <laughs> Dude, you know who you're talking to here? I will go everywhere. There's a few things that might come in handy for you. Like, seriously, dude. Secret places, hidden walls, passages, the lot. Yeah. I intend to look at every single bit of it. So, uh, yeah. Gotta be something to do with the water level, right? That we can bring it down a little bit and then we can go into that uh, secret base. Oh. We get to these areas up on the top as well. I wonder. We go this way. She's still there. Come here. I go through here. Oh, that brings me back down to here. Yeah. That's right. Remote bomb is useful in this place, though. This bit. Oh, damn. 
So when it goes in the water, we can't detonate it. We tried normal bombs here, didn't we, though? That doesn't work either. Hmm, that was a hit. Try one more. Ah. Wonder how that's supposed to work. Maybe we're not supposed to figure it out yet. Maybe we'll get like a time freeze mechanic or something. I bet the remote bomb is for this here. We might not have time to run around before the gate closes. Yeah, that's really quick, so that's why we had a remote bomb. Is that what I should have done? I'm gonna need more bombs probably later. I should have restocked while I was there. I just have to ask, Thomas. Don't I get boring on this island all by yourself all the time? Captain ordered me to stay here. But Captain? You know, I just have to ask, Captain. Isn't that a bit heartless? <laughs> Thomas sure ain't getting any younger out here. Thomas, my boy. Hi. As she returned? Hi. Then our long wait shall be coming to an end at last. How long has it been, eh? Already used up the last of my perpetual calendar. Haven't been able to keep track since then. That long, is it? But in the time field, everything feels like it was just yesterday. Come along with us, then. Things will be ending soon. Aye. John, my boy, the sea once again calls our name. Drippins, uh, uh, the drippings are good. Thomas's nose have formed icicles. Let's weigh anchor. Today looks like an important day indeed. Ha ha ha. These guys know more than they're telling us. <laughs> mm hmm. Come with me, you two. We don't want to keep our client waiting, do we? Wait! Oh, well, that's what we don't want to do. You weren't paying attention. You folks wouldn't be able to deliver a few things for me, would you? I suppose I'd be willing to lend my delivery personnel to you for a spell? I got a letter for a guy at Red Rocket Repair. One for Frank in the train graveyard, and one for Ivan at the Esther Hotel. Come see me back at the dock once you're done. So we've got to do the other stuff first. All right. Oh, we've got to do those first. This is going to be like letters that tell people stuff they need to know now in order to break this time loop, perhaps. That's what this, I bet this is what this is going to be. Some kind of clever little scheme where they're like, ah, everybody needs to be in the right place at the right time and doing the right thing. Professor Ivan! Professor Ivan! Who's there? We've got something for you from Mr. Thomas. Thomas, you say? Yeah, Thomas from the Island of Time. Give it to me now! Say please. And thank you. 
Wow, okay, don't then. Finally, after all this time, you've returned. How long has it been, my old friend? To us, it was only yesterday, but to you, it must have been a lifetime. Okay. What was in the letter? A person? Next one was at the repair place, and then the train graveyard, right? Hi guys, what's up? Oh, that's still, yep. <laughs> the game is just like, dude, you don't want to rewatch this again, do you? Hi. What's that? A delivery for me? Smith, let's get those two inside. We can do the operation now. Uh, wait, this, this isn't the chip. It's a letter from Thomas. Thomas? Let me see that. Ha! Ah, I knew it! No operations today, I'm afraid. I'm going out. Dude just barged right past us. You're welcome too, by the way. Wow. It may not look it, but Guy used to be one of the world's leading robot scientists. The emotion chip, it's his invention. Oh, really? Well, it's no good because it broke. Pretty shit invention. Ah. Oh my god, we can go here now. Hmm. Oh, who's this guy? Hi. I really regret it, you know. I could have stayed warm and toasty back in the lab, but no, I had to go and apply for field work in this godforsaken place. You guys stuck here with a job you couldn't turn down to? I'm a meteorologist, you see, studying the effects of the miasma on the climate. But strangely, it turned out it's not actually as dangerous as I thought. At least to our climate, that is. If my theory is correct, the miasma has the power to completely eradicate all abnormal weather. Same as it has the power to eradicate, uh, well, us. Interesting. Hi. What's up, guys? Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Got him. I'm telling you, if it makes you uncomfortable, I'll resign from the university right now. I will. No, no. You mustn't. I would never. And, and truly, I'm... I'm overjoyed at your feelings for me. I'm just worried about what others will think. You're my teacher, after all. Oh, dear God. I don't care what anyone thinks. Please don't get upset, I just... Maybe I need to discuss things with my sister. I only care about what you think. Please, just tell me how you feel. I, uh... <sighs> Boo-chan, there's some people looking at us. <laughs> don't, don't mind me, keep going. Carry on. Act like I'm not even here. Sorry, uh... Is there anything we can do to help? I don't believe any of this is concerns you. My professor, I mean, this gentleman, my partner, I mean, uh, I would very much like to marry him, but he's my teacher, you see. Wait, what did you just say? Um, you're my teacher? No, no, before that. I would very much like to marry you. Ha <laughs> ha! Then I don't need to worry myself anymore. My heart is as clear as the east as the Esther City sky. I cannot thank you enough, you two gentle souls. We didn't really do anything, but okay. <laughs> the Esther City sky. It's kind of foggy here, dude. Like, what the fuck? All right, well, hey, you know, we spread happiness and joy in our wake. All the time. We need to go up here. Oh, this looks like it could be a boss fight area. You can just tell. Dead end, big, wide, long area like that. Boss fight chamber. Oh, it's Frankenstein. 
I've got ice in joints I didn't even know I had. I swear, winter here in Esther City is just a long railroad with no end in sight. Your robots have it made. I can't feel a single thing. You talk about that like it's a bad thing? <laughs> it's not. I'd sure like to feel the cold just once. Oh, hey! Mail's here, finally! Uh, excuse me, which one of you is Mr. Frank? Take a guess. <laughs> Frank? Damn it. Thought it was for me. Frank's this overgrown lump on a, lo uh, on a log over here. By the way, you folks think you could ask that captain of yours something for me? When's that lube oil of mine finally gonna get here? My bottle's gone and frozen over. I'd eat me a brand with a lower freezing point. Without it, these knees of mine a lot clean up. Once that happens, well, just call me Robo-Zombie. <laughs> I will do nothing of the sort. Uh, hmm, Frank? I didn't mean it, bud, truly. You're not angry, are you? Is that you, mother? I'm not anyone's mother. Why does everyone have to call me that? My name is Sam, not mother. Whatever, just take your letter. Come on, John, we're going. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, you upset mother. I mean, Sam. <gasps> Actually, I should probably cook because I don't have... I've got like five food slots now. And I should eat some of what I've already got. Just to refill my health. There we go. Let's cook. Alright, so... Ribs. We haven't done anything with the ribs yet. So what if we put ribs... Uh, mushrooms... And onions... That'll make the pork chop. We already know that dish, then. Fruity meat stew. Make anything different? Oh, there's a hot pot. What about if we did uh, meat, cheese... Sushi platter. Those ribs look suspiciously like steak, right? Don't they just? But the game says they ribs, so ribs they is, I guess, you know. Three doses of ribs will make an unknown recipe. I never really thought about doing that. Let's do this. This is going to be amazing. I mean, how would you improve red meat? You just add more red meat. Right? And apparently the steak has made red braised pork belly. <laughs> uh, oh. Okay. I mean, I, I, I'll allow that. We just transformed it into something else. <laughs> oh, dear me. I mean, I never tried just using three of any ingredient, I guess. What if I just use three of fish? What does that make? It's a protein-rich diet. Yes. Precisely. Ah, we got two. Nice. Just some seafood skewers. That'll give me six... Bonus hearts. Okay. And... Know that one. Landroop pasta. Ugh. Fruit pie. If we do three fruit of any type. Okay. Three cheese? <laughs> what is this going to be? Ah. 
This happened last stream. I was always getting the first and the third one the same, but I couldn't get the second. You just throw all the cheese in the pan. It's gonna be like a fondue or something, right? Or steamed eggs. Apparently, cheese is made of eggs. Who knew? But eight and eight. What? That's good. Maybe it's just because it was three dairy. And if I do three milk, it's steamed eggs. Three tofu, steamed eggs. So, you just had eggs. Ooh, I had eggs for breakfast today as well. They were very nice. Kind of hoping that three tentacles would just make something really funny. Uh, right, so... It was meat, that, and fruit. Makes the pizza. And toast with peanut butter and honey. Ooh, very nice. Spam click. I got a diagonal! Come on! other uh, things do we normally make? Oh, no. Wrong button. Wrong button! What was the thing we've made a lot of? It was this, wasn't it? Meat, vegetable and fruit. Not meat, dairy. Thank you. Yep, that was a sneeze. I just muted. <laughs> so meat, vegetable, other one. Oh, big win! Yo! First time! And I wasn't even trying. a sneeze that doesn't want to come out. It's a stalled sneeze. See me blowing my nose, it's an ugly sight. Okay. Oof. That fixed it. You remember that the first time we're in the same roof and you reach for the Kleenex? <laughs> yeah. Well, you married me, okay? You you have to put up with that ugly sight. That's part of the deal. <laughs> no! <laughs> Apparently that's not part of the deal. So, okay, I will go... <laughs> I will go hide somewhere. <laughs> I'll go hide in the bathroom or the bedroom or whatever and... <laughs> You refuse. Too late now. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, actually, yeah, that's the thing. I was going to have a look, see if we can go north of here first. That's why I made all this food. Oh! It's our train! It's our choo-choo! Don't blow your nose in the bedroom and get your snots everywhere on my bedding. I'm not going to blow it on the bedding. That's the point of the tissue. <laughs> oh... All right, we can take the train and leave. Yeah, let's leave William and Daniel behind. Apparently not, though. Never mind. Oh, ha -ha. oh, man, I can't get in there. Maybe if I go down and up again. Aha. What you got for me? Another gear part. Sweet. Maybe we've got enough for another upgrade now. Okay, so this is where we're coming later, apparently. <laughs> that looks ominous. Some parts of the soundtrack for this game, like this tune that's on now, kind of reminds me a little bit of Oxenfree. Of course, as I say that, it goes away, so... <laughs> That bit you were just hearing makes me think of Oxenfree. Let's go to the shop. Let's see if we can afford another upgrade. Okay. What's up, Kane? Oh, he doesn't sell those. Oh, it's the other shop. Right. Uh, well, he doesn't have any of those T-bone ribs. Two of each, I need three. Uh, boo. Alright. Okay. Now if we go back, now we've delivered those letters and we've set the stage for something. So he isn't here. We finished delivering everything. <laughs> you just missed him. Captain already left with Thomas. Heard them mumbling something about the, the... What was it again? Ah, right. The Eternal Tower. A tower? With an altar of evil at the top, probably. Not sure why, though. Nothing and no one to see there. Not even a way to get inside, since the door's always closed. Can't imagine what they'd be up to in a place like that. John, did you hear that? Let's go. The Eternal Tower. Oh, look! It's right where we just were! <laughs> you think we would have passed them on the way, right? You know. Maybe they know another way in. This is why we made a load of food. There's going to be a boss fight. Oh. 
What are all you guys doing here? Allow us to reintroduce ourselves, would you? Captain Pam. Oh, what the hell? Codename, Knight, at your service. Ivan here. Uh, codename, Monk. Okay. And I'm Guy. Codename, Hunter. Thomas. Codename's Mage, and Thomas the Just. Of course he would be the Mage. Frank. Just Frank. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, just Frank. That's all, I'm just Frank. Codename, Priest. No special... So not fair. Still can't believe Thomas gets two code names. And I can't believe you're still bringing this up after all these years. Do we really have to say the name again? At this age, it's, well, embarrassing. Embarrassing, is it? Who was it that came up with the names in the first place, eh? Enough already, you scurvy dogs. Now then, we are... The Rocket Knight Legion! Isn't that from Earthborn? On the money, us five, we're the originals. And you're our princess, mother. Don't call me that, I'm Sam. Hate to interrupt all the fun we're having, but... I'm afraid our time's quickly running out. The good man is right. Seeing all me mateys again has just about wiped the real issue clean from me mind. Ha <laughs> ha! We've got a gift for you. A gift? If you would, Frank. Sonic Punk! Greetings, lab assistant Sam and John. The Sonic Punk reporting for duty. Mr. The Sonic Punk, where did you go? I sustained damage due to interference in Esther City, but Master Guy repaired me. It was no trouble at all, really. Although I have to say, I would have loved to see whoever creates this little guy. Not sure you could find talent like that ever here, even here in Esther City. All right, I may or may not have given him some new functionalities. New functionality. Searching for Isabel. Signal found, signal found. Of course she's in there. Right, check it out. I call it the Time Anchor Radar. Using Ivan's theories, I discovered some, well, let's just call them special things with the time field, reflecting the projections that form standing waves, which is where the Time Anchor Radar comes in. The scrounge is all about the complicated wave activity and latches onto the fleeting projections. And by the looks of it, he's already found something too. Oof. Come on guys, really? You couldn't have waited till I was done talking. Looks like he's found something. Search complete. Found Isabel. <clears throat> uh oh. You did it! Isabel! Isabel, hey! Finally, after all this time. Are you listening up there? You godforsaken whatever, you better open this damn mouth of yours because this thorn in your throat is coming in. I'm going up and I'm going to end this once and for all. Alva. Alva? Alva's here too? Who's there? Show yourself. Isabel, can you see me? Isabel, I'm right here. Must be seeing things. Come on, let's go. So wait, Alva's up there. Is she the final bad guy? Oh no, that door leads to Solomon's hideout. The only thing that can open it is the flame of time. Flame of Time? It's an invention of Solomon's. A ball of concentrated energy, basically. The bloke's dead now, though, ain't he? Then where could the flame have run off to? Ahem. <clears throat> Mind if I say a few words? 
If Isabella was able to find the flame, then Isabella's our clue. If we follow her, we should be able to find the flame. Looks like we're gonna have to rely on this little guy, then. Okay. So, what do you want me to do? I wonder what Miss Elf of the Past would have to say about all of this. If I had a guess, you'd have probably already cursed the door out. Then left to drown your sorrows back at the dock. Hmm. Don't remember you having this much of a mouth on you, Frank. Must be from hanging out with that smart mouth robot all the time. Random aside, Thomas, but how in the world did you keep yourself occupied on the island all by yourself? Oh, you know, fishing, growing stuff. And if my hip wasn't acting up, playing a few rounds of Earthborn. Ha! You must be an expert by now, then. Ah, uh, nah. I mean, I can just squeak out a win if I'm lucky. If I had some Pix Balls, though... Damn, the fact that you can beat it without Pix Balls is talent enough. I'm taking... I'm talking Earthborn Master here. Pretty sure not even Guy's done that. Oh, haha, <laughs> so funny. As if anyone could be better than the creator of the game himself. And it's as if I've never seen you sneak in a Pix Ball or two during a battle. So, how do we use Sonic Punk? I can't remember. Hmm. Does it direct me to a place? Must have left other messages around Esther City. Let's use Sonic Punk to find them. Oh, there was the kid in the in the hotel. Was like saw the ghost with a sword on her back. And I did say that sounds a bit like Isabel. But maybe he was seeing like a time echo or something. What if as well? Throughout the game, we've had these moments where time freezes and. A red version of Sam splits off from her or shows up somewhere. What if that's future Sam? And that's why she doesn't remember it, because it hasn't happened yet. And instead, she's doing stuff back in time. Starting to see little things coming together. So, um... That would be up here. That does seem like a good theory, right? Professor Ivan, are you here? Well, no, he's back at the thing, but anyway. He's not back yet. You think he'd be mad if we let ourselves in? <laughs> of course he'd be mad. Oh, monk's here. It's Ivan the Monk. Shh. Ixnay on the Unkmay. Nikita hears this, and he'll be a complete laughing stock. <clears throat> anyway, if you guys um, have all come all the way here, then Sonic Punk found a signal. Really? It's coming from your room. Then it's true. I knew I saw her. I knew it. Excuse me, but could we come inside? You're gonna come in even if I say no, aren't you? Well, you need us to do this, dude. <laughs> you could say no, but then, okay, we'll just go home then. I suppose there's nothing for it. I'll open the door. Look, it's cool if you've got hentai posters all over your wall, okay? You don't have to be embarrassed, just let us in. Oh god, he has something posted all over his wall. <laughs> is this some kind of dungeon? The mouth on this girl. This is my lab, I'll have you know. Lab? I've been researching ever since you left. Extensive research on the Eternal Tower, only time hasn't exactly allowed me to make much progress. What was it that made you come back here then? I wanted to see that ghost with my own eyes. You mean Isabel? Yes, Isabel. She is. 
This is Professor Ivan. He's nothing but a batty old kook. Batty old kook, the upstart. Through the mists, the discovery and analysis of temporal perspective. Metaphorical representations of time in ancient legends, the psychological structure of time in the future. What a bunch of useless crap. Say that again, you damn kid. Hmm, what's this? Don't touch that. Damn projection. <laughs> He's doing the equivalent of literally yelling at the television now, like, Don't go through that door! Ivan's diary. The time field has been activated, and so I will write this diary. So as not to lose myself within a single endless day. Interesting, there may be something useful in here yet. Charon arrives tomorrow, the time field will be lifted, but I fear that the miasma will swallow Esther City whole. The only way to defeat Solomon is to ascend the Eternal Tower. It seems Nikita likes the pudding from the supermarket and more useless crap. Damn projection. I've searched all across Esther City. Solomon has, be has hidden the flame. All that's left is... Hmm... What are you doing? You're not reading my diary, you hear? I need to know where the flame is. This is my room and my things and I'll get you for it. Oh, I'll get it for you, sorry. Damn ghost. What's wrong? She ripped out the page. Keep up the search, yeah? There must be more clues than just uh, somewhere in this city. Okay, scavenger hunt. Did she go to the bathroom? No. Did she go to this bathroom? Oh, I can't get in. Damn it. Not in here? No. Probably not in any of the rooms in here. So, Sonic Punk's antenna seems to be glowing. It speeds up. Now it's put out here, yep. Okay, so it's gonna be in here. No? Weaker over this way. Oh. Okay. I had to stand on that exact centimeter of space. Isabel. How strange. Yesterday I was told Charon would arrive at the Eternal Tower tonight. And today I'm told yet again that I have to wait till tomorrow. In fact, Everything today has been exactly the same as yesterday, almost as if yesterday never even happened. You don't think time here is the same as it was back in that fog? Hmm. This must have been before she found whatever it was that led her to Solomon. Let's look somewhere else, Mr. The Sonic Punk. Searching for Isabel. Well, she went this way, so I kind of want to... See if I can follow it along. Good guess. It's been 13, no, 15 days now since I arrived at Esther City. My memory's getting worse and worse. 
So the longer you're in this time field, the more you're going to succumb to the memory loss. Oh. If that Ivan Fellow's research is correct, then today will always be the day after the time field was activated. And also the day before Sharon arrives at the Eternal Tower. Except that tomorrow never arrives in Esther City. And the key, damn, I can't let myself forget. The Flame of Time, yes, the key to that tower is the Flame of Time. I'm gonna find it, Alva, I am. So just wait for me. Hmm. Did she go to the jazz club? No. Damn. Not a fan of jazz. Okay. Alright, gonna go cook something. See ya. No problem, Luigi. Take care. Enjoy your food. Have a good one. Here. Let's head back towards the dock then. Also, there is a bit of space over here, isn't there? Did she come around the back alleyway this way? Nope. I bet she went over here though. Because this place is, you know, it screams, I'm part of the story. The only person to die in the city that never dies. The only person to die in the city that never dies. Ugh, what does it mean? You don't think I've already solved it once, do you? My memory's getting more and more fuzzy. I'm not able to find that flame, then we'll end up losing ourselves completely to this place. Damn it, I'm definitely missing something. I'm gonna have to drop by three by there again. Hmm, there. Where is there? Let's try asking Thomas. He's got to know something. Drop by there again. What if she was thinking, go back to read the diary again? And we know who the only person to die in the city that never dies is. Solomon, right? Because... It's literally his funeral today. So he died. <laughs> He's the only person to die in the city that never dies. So that's her, like, a clue that it leads to Solomon. And we have to go and speak to Thomas. This is so interesting, this game. I'm loving this. The story is so good. Thomas, Captain. The only person to die in the city that never dies. Do you know what this could mean? Where that's supposed to be? You guys aren't thinking of every possible place. Oh, look at you, Mr. Know-It-All, and how would you know? You don't even live here, shacked upon the island all these years. Wait, that island? Wasn't it the land of... Uh, wasn't it the island of time? It wasn't the island of time, was it? It was. But we just came from there. Solomon! That's it! The old bubblehead must not actually be dead! Ah, then mayhaps his secrets are all what are buried in the grave. Then let's go! Come on, John! Let's go back to the island of time. Thanks, guys. She's thanking us. Huh. Quite the 180 compared to mother's for uh, uh, mother's former solemnity. Always had a crease in that brow she did. And it was only when playing Earthborn that she'd crack a smile. Listen up, mateys. The day has finally arrived for our dream to come to fruition. 
We'll weigh anchor for the island of time. We'll be waiting for you at the dock, lass. Roger that, Captain. We're gonna go find the flame, we are. Ha 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 ha. It's freezing out here. I'll never get used to the weather on this island. Hellish, really. But this is the edge of the time field. The winds are the worst out here. Everyone here, then? Ain't no time to be grousing about the weather, lads. Up with you now, after me. Getting real tired of how damn cold it is here. Floyd! Floyd! That rust encrusted cog for brains, where is he? He was here when we were here earlier. Not sure what we hope to accomplish with him anyway. No bot of Solomon's is gonna fill it, filling us in on his secrets. Search complete. Search complete. Found Isabel. Come out, you two-eyed tone freak. I know you aren't actually dead. Oh no. There you are. Hand over the flame of time now, or are you going to force me to take it myself? Just what is it you want, girl? Riches, power, or perhaps to live forever? Now that you're in Esther City, you have everything you could possibly need. Not even death has any influence over you here. Yes, why then? Why go to all this trouble to get out, uh, get into the tower? Don't patronize me, old man. Oh, then it would seem you already understand. However, does that mean you're fully prepared? I'll do anything to save Alva. <laughs> brilliant! Absolutely, positively brilliant. What is it that moves you so? That's giving you such drive. Loyalty, perhaps? Friendship. Or could it be... Love. Oh, my. Still a ball of fire, I see. Take it, then. Take the flame of time and ascend the eternal tower. And take what it is you so desire. Hmm. Love, loyalty. I'm coming, Alva. And I'm going to find a way to save you. But that's it. Solomon gave Isabel the Flame of Time. Ah, that was your friend, was it? Yeah, that was Isabel. She took the Flame of Time. Well, that sure does put us in a fix now, doesn't it? Solomon's buried right here. If only Floyd were here. Captain Pam, ship's docked. Oh, what? That noise, it sounds like you stepped on something. Ooh, what's this now? Solomon's grave? There's no one in it. They buried a ladder! <gasps> Wait a minute, I've got it. That crazy kook isn't actually dead. Way to keep up with us, Ivan. Then, what would be a better place for him to hide his secrets? Good point. Come on, John, let's go check it out. Hold your horses there, you scurvy dogs. When the next bell tolls, us old folks very well forget what's happened here today, but if you need us, well, you can bet we'll be there, sure as sturgeon. You guys. Go on, then. Just like before, really. We'll keep an eye on things back here. Cool. Bye. <laughs> we gotta save it! Save the memories. Because guys, you know what time it is. Time to end the show.